friends today we are going to see nothing new age old thing blind nasal intubation i have used a 6.5 mm endotracheal tube i want to prove that to the whole world that blind nasal intubation can be done in a very conscious patient when you have a successful airway topical anesthesia so i have used 2% lignocaine jelly from and uh, through the nose and then you inhale it then i have used 10% lignocaine spray say ah uh, and spray it do and then i have used transacyl 4% lignocaine 2 ml when you have a successful airway anesthesia airway anesthesia this blind nasal intubation can be done in a very conscious patient without any discomfort to the patient that's what i'm going to perform and i am going to prove it so i have kept everything ready the saturation probe and also the intraoral carbon dioxide monitoring so that to confirm the endo successful endotracheal intubation guys let's do it don't miss the beat so what i'm doing here is go perpendicular with the endotracheal tube so go slowly i have lubricated with uh, the endotracheal tube with uh, lignocaine jelly also and ask your assistant to hold your cry card and gently give a pressure and uh, in the meanwhile you need to keep breathing if the patient is all also there pay ask the patient to keep breathing spontaneously you will hear the breathing sound as you pass your vocal cords when you have a successful good airway block there will be no hustle as the tube passes the vocal cord that's the point that i have to i'm here to prove it so when your tube is inside past the glottis and uh, cuff is been inflated then you uh, take a deep breath you can hear the breathing sounds then attach the enteral carbon dioxide monitoring and then your saturation probe you can see the in etco2 graph that confirms the endotracheal intubation there is no discomfort and that's a thumbs up and you can sit up with the endotracheal tube in situ after doing airway blocks for superior nerve retinal nerve and i have used nasal jelly also you can see here i am slowly introducing a 6 mm endotracheal tube for 18 year old girl and make sure the patient is breathing as you introduce you can see the when the endotracheal tube enters you can see the fogging at the endotracheal tube and and see you can see the fogging and the mucil to this the thing that you can or you can attach and uh, it is sure to to confirm that the endotracheal tube was passed the glottis yeah, yeah. so what i do here is i don't have an etc2 so i connect my bing circuit now the patient is awake the fogging at the endotracheal tube oh. is the best way to confirm it now i attach my bing circuit to see the bag is filling uh, for and you know, for both for the inspiration and expiration so now much to do is the bag uh, with uh, just oxygen 6 liters you can see here and i asked her to take a deep breath the bag is moving accordingly and moving accordingly so this is a best way to confirm it and then you can inspect the cuff inspect the cuff and then you can you can give the routine procedures for general anesthesia so these these are things that you can do when a patient is coming for a difficult situation thanks for watching thank you